So I just finished watching The Bear, and I want to take a moment to talk about it. There's gonna be another review, unscripted, where I just kind of give my raw thoughts right after watching and finishing whatever I just watched. So all this will just be right off the top of my head, just kind of talking about what I thought of The Bear Season 2. And as you can see by the title of this video, yes, I do think this show is the new king of TV. With Succession just ending, and shows like Stranger Things and House of the Dragon, you know, taking years and years to make new seasons, I think The Bear is the new show that is gonna be that year-to-year -year king that dominates TV and is just kind constantly putting out great content for hopefully at least four, five, maybe six seasons. Because season two, oh my god. Oh, it's beautiful. Before I really get started, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more turn on notifications. There's going to be slight spoilers ahead. In the second half of the video, I'm going to go full spoilers because there's one aspect of this entire season that I want to talk about in depth, and it is a major spoiler, sort of. It's a big surprise, at least it was for me, because from what I've seen, it wasn't something that was talked about before the season started. But yeah, slight spoilers for the first half. Let's get right into it. So the Bear Season 2 picks up right with our characters as they're now changing the sandwich shop into this big, fancy, five-star level restaurant. And it has all of the chaotic drama that we came to expect with the first season, but this season is much more focused and gives every single character almost their own episode to really shine. And I can go cast member to cast member, but oh my god, the entire cast is amazing in this thing. Jeremy Allen White, of course, is amazing as the lead in the show, as Carmen. He is so, so good in every single episode that he's in. Although there's like a middle section of the show where he sort of disappears, but he's so good. Earlier in the series, they give him a love interest, and it's something that I was afraid the show was gonna do, because in season one, he didn't really have that, and he didn't really need that, but in this season, they kind of throw it in. My immediate reaction was he does not really need a love interest but oh my god do they do it so well without getting into spoilers that relationship grows and grows and grows and in the finale there's a whole you know crescendo to that that you know relationship arc and it's so good and so well done abby elliott has a bigger role this season as natalie the sister she's really great sydney i feel like is the one character that kind of took a back step to everybody else but she does have her moments maddie matheson yeah bro you you are great he is awesome in this season but every single character gets their moments to shine there's like a few episodes that take their characters and move them into these unique settings with, with cameos and, and you know special appearances but they put them in almost this training setting it's almost a training arc like from an anime but it's all done very very well and it's written to perfection you have its chaotic moments you have the moments that make you feel so stressed out which is what the show does so well but in the end there's so much heart to it and so much passion and care and so much love that makes these characters feel so real and organic and that's what I loved about the season is it brought these characters out in a way that we loved in season one but even better way in this season, but kept up that heart-wrenching pace that the show is known for. And it all boils down to, like, a really, really great finale, and there's one episode, which I'm gonna talk more about in the spoiler section, it's episode 6, that is arguably the best episode of television I've seen all year, and that includes everything that happened in succession. It is so perfect and so well-written, and ultimately, the show is just so entertaining, every moment of it. I mean, I binged 10 episodes of this thing in one day, and it was honestly worth every second of it. But yeah, for the non-spoiler section, I will give you my rating right now this is an easy five out of five and i recommend every single person that does not watch the bear watch season one and season two season two is even better than see i would say a lot better than season one and i cannot wait to see where the show goes next now for some spoilers if you don't want to be spoiled get off now but episode six of the bear Season 2 introduces a lot of special guest appearances. You bring in Bob Odenkirk, who's great and has an awesome moment. You also have Sarah Paulson, who has a really, really great scene with Carmen. You also get John Mulaney, for some reason, who's fine. But oh my god, newly Academy Award winner Jamie Lee Curtis comes out of nowhere. Didn't even know she was in the season. I don't know if they publicly announced it or not, but had no idea she was in this. She comes in and she plays Carmen's mom, and oh my god, she... I, I think this is her best performance? I mean, her... Her performance in this is riveting. She plays such a great role here. I don't think I've ever felt worse for a character. I felt so bad for her and so connected to her, but I also understand her to a certain extent through the craziness of the situation that her, her character's in, cooking this big Christmas dinner and all the chaos around her. And her one scene in the finale, oh my god, I almost teared up. It's so sad. There is a devastating line in this show where she just talks about how she makes these beautiful things and she loves all these people, but she doesn't feel like she's loved it. Oh my, it's just so sad. And it is by far the best part of this entire season. And it's something that I did not expect going in. Jamie Lee Curtis should not have won the Oscar for Everything Everywhere All At Once. Her performance in that was whatever. But oh my God, yes, she is a phenomenal actress. One of the best actresses working today. And this is proof. And she needs to do more work like this. And I will say the one issue I do have with episode six is they kind of shut out the regulars of the series and just let these great actors do their thing and it almost feels like it was centered around these guest actors, which it is. 
but I almost wish they gave a little bit more to the series regulars in that episode. But regardless, they were all great. And John Bur I forgot about John Bernthal. Oh my god, yeah, John Bernthal is awesome in this show. Specifically in that episode. I think it's the only episode he's in. And oh my god, he he's so good. But episode six, absolutely amazing. Jamie Lee Curtis made this season in her very, very small, but amazingly impactful role. And I just, hopefully they bring her back for season three. I don't know if they're going to, but god, we need her in season three. But yeah, The Bears season two, five out of five. Best show of the year, maybe. Maybe, you know, we'll see. I don't know. I, I, I gotta do my rankings at the end of the year. I think Succession Season 4 might still be better as a whole, but I, I don't know. Ultimately, it is one of the best shows on TV. I think it's probably the best ongoing show, show airing from now on. I do think it's the new king of TV. But yeah, let me know down below. Have you watched The Bear Season 2? Are you going to watch The Bear Season 2? And what do you think about it? Make sure to like this video and subscribe and turn on notifications for more. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.